in the end. I went... You sounded like an echo. You just kept going. Before I begin, I might as well explain. My name is Tony Baloney. Yeah, oh, you can see it written. Yeah, it is. It's not my fault. It's my mother's fault. My mother was Tony Salami. <laughs> my dad was Tony Macaroni. <laughs> so they called me Tony Baloney. And yeah, they told me, if you want to test the where's intelligence... Leroy? Oh, where's, where's Leroy? Leroy? Leroy is coming out later. But who's if you want... Oh, who's Leroy? Leroy? He's the talking dog. Oh. Let me tell you, if you want to test... The intelligence of an audience. Do you know Yay! what you need? No. Yeah. You need a clean white hanky. Now, how do you get a clean white hanky? Wipe your nose. I tell you, you wait <laughs> until it's the middle of winter and everyone's got colds, and you wait until somebody's about to sneeze, and he'll reach into his pocket and he'll take out his clean white hanky, and he'll be about to blow his nose, and you'll sneak up behind him and you'll pull away the hanky, and he'll sneeze into his hand. Your nose. <laughs> That's how you get a clean white hanky. <laughs> now, once you get the clean white hanky, do you know what you never do? What? what? You never tuck it in here and sit down and eat a bowl of tomato soup. It'll spill! Well, I tell you why, it won't spill. If you sneeze, it'll go every place. <laughs> no, no, it will. Look, I'll explain to you. This is my clean white hanky. That's not right! right. <laughs> I know. I had some tomato soup. Oh. You've got to keep listening. I say a lot of things. If you don't keep up, you'll miss it. Anyway, this is my clean white hanky. What I'm going to do with my clean... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. It's a bit early in the show for things to be going wrong, isn't it? Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the clean white... Give it back. Straight away. That wasn't a great throw. Thank you. Fingers. Now, what I'm going to do is, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie a knot in it so that that doesn't happen anymore. I'm just going to tie a knot so they can't get away it's from me anymore. It's not a knot. What? It's oh. not. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Not this is just not my day. I should have stayed at home. It should be easy to tie a knot. You get this bit. You tie put this bit through. You pull it tight, just it's like. Not oh. It's not your fingers. No. And I should be good at this. When I was at school, the teachers you're used to say, Tony, you're good for nothing. I used to believe them. You get this end, this end, you pull it like that, you pull it as you can. Ah! I can Let me tell you, I know what I'm doing wrong. Will I tell you what I'm doing wrong? What? I'm starting in the wrong place. If I had started up here, I would end up with a perfect knot, wouldn't I? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'd end up with an absolutely perfect knot. If I started up... Can oh, hang on. That looks like a ghost. Yeah. We don't like ghosts, do we? No. Yeah, we do. Okay, let's give the ghosts some legs. If we go like this and like this and like... Oh, there's a lovely wind here. Oh, there's a... Oh, hang on. I went too far. I gave her a big bump. <laughs> <laughs> that looks better. That looks like... That looks like... That looks like... Do you know what it looks like now? It looks like a ballerina. And look, there's the high kick. Oh, my God! <laughs> Anyway, as I said, we're going to do an intelligence test. And there are two parts to the intelligence test. The first part and... The second part. The first part is simple. It sees how well you work as an audience. So when I throw this up into the air, you make noise. Not yet. You shout. You cheer. You laugh. You stomp your feet. As soon as I catch it... As soon as I catch it... You Shut freeze. Up. Even your mouth freezes. Let's see are how you good you are. Blink? No, you're not allowed to blink. Uh, are you ready? Ah! Well, that's not bad. And she's completely frozen. She looks like Frankenstein. Ah! Ah! Ooh, very good. Second part of the intelligence test. And this is the most important it's part. To go to the it is to see <laughs> how clever you are. I'm going to hold up some shapes. You tell me what the shapes are. Shape number one. Square. Oh, very good. Should I make them a bit more complicated? Yeah. Okay, shape number two. Diamond. Diamond. Haven't it finished? <gasps> Diamond. 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 
Yes, it's still a diamond. The third shape is the one that moves. Triangle! Wait till I have it done, you banana heads! Triangle! <laughs> Triangle! No! Pyramid! No, Triangle. but that's a good answer. A no, it's a ham sandwich! <laughs> now let's close the ham sandwich like this. You it's know what we end up with? It's a rock! An envelope! Let's close the envelope. This is the best way to close an envelope. Especially if you're sending something valuable like a CD in the post. Do you know what we've got here? A hat. A hat. If we turn the hat around like this, what do we get? Absolutely no idea. A bow chair. Small envelope. If we close the small envelope, what do we get? A ball. A ball. We get an iron. I got money. You got money? Wow! I don't have money, I have an iron. It's, no, it's a I ironed hot some of these shirts for some money. Do you know what happened to me yesterday? What? I was ironing, well it wasn't yesterday, it was last week I was ironing my shirt. Excuse me, I have money. I'm I know you that. do, you told Where us. Now I was ironing my shirt and somebody phoned me and I forgot I was ironing. And I answered the phone and I burnt my ear. <laughs> <laughs> then they rang me back and I burnt my other ear. Anyway, we give it another twist like this. We give it another twist like this, and we give it a final twist like this. Does anyone know what we give it? A handbag. handbag. Excellent. And if we go like this and like this, does anyone know Sorry. what? A mustache. <laughs> oh, we get a sausage. Oh, we get a cheap Christmas cracker. Now, what do you find in a cheap <coughs> Christmas cracker? Nothing. Wrong. Oh, no. A terrible key ring. A terrible key ring. Oh, oh, a paper hat. You find a cheap toy in a bad Shut joke. Up. Now, I've already told the bad jokes, so let's look for the cheap toy. I wonder what we're going to get inside in this cheap... You're going to get a big bang in your we're face. Get, oh, hang on. We get a little red mouse. That's not cute. It's not real. I didn't say it was cute. It's a mouse. <laughs> what else? Get down. Get down. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> That's all right. Ah! That was, oh, no, it's all right. It's all right. He's calming down. Calming. Ah! <laughs> it's a lovely. Ah! <laughs> Throw the mouse back and squeeze it in. There's only one thing for it, you grab the mouse by the tail. You grab the mouse by the head. And if you pull like that, do you know Three, what? Three, two, one, it makes a square! Well, that means it's curtains for the poor mouse. Whew, that was a bit of a relief, wasn't it? Alright, yeah. he's dead. No, he's not like dead. He's, dead. he's only asleep. Do you know what it is? I didn't put enough, I didn't put enough money in. You know the way, it's like one of those slot machines. You gotta put money in for it Excuse to work. Excuse me, can it, I throw something up to you? No, wait a second. I feel a lot Don't you dare throw that up to him. Oh, don't worry, I'll tell the crazy man. It feels something. Ew. What was that doing in there? Oh. See that? What was that doing in there? My coin! You can't keep it. <laughs> my coin! No, I'm going to put that into my pocket. I'm going to put that into my pocket. And I'm going to put away. I'm going to put it. Oh, dear, sorry. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Wow. Now, boys and girls, you are intelligent enough to see the magic show, aren't you? Yes. Oh, good. Excuse me. We're about to start as soon as she stops interrupting me. Now, I'll throw these up. No, don't. What we're going to do, you can't throw anything in this show. Oh, but yeah, you can. Let me tell you, 